On the previous episode of Flak Trying Ranked, the devs cucked me by giving me Platinum One. Platinum One? Crush you cocaine addict, where's my patchy? Fuck this game. Come to find out, there's a gold mine of casuals waiting to get fucked by my fat throbbing maul. I fully intend to maul my way through the ranks. Here's a condensed montage of my regrettable journey in platinum, riddled with casuals and smurfs. Jungle Boogie. These wait times are longer than the shits I take in between shitting on noobs. Ironically, I was honestly on the shitter during this. He didn't even meme at me, what a waste. 40 points. Crush! Damn you! Time to step on the sweat pedal. <laughs> Do not yield! <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Brothers, can't sit in defeat this time, so it is time I used a meta weapon. Rumored amongst the crybabies of Reddit, this OP weapon I now seek, the war axe forged in the bowels of hell. Its haft allows for unparalleled control and balance. Its blade capable of cleaving even the sweatiest players, this weapon defies reason. It's a paradox of power, and those who dare wield it must tread the fine line between hero and villain. Ha ha ha! 
Here we go, baby. Forget what I said about the war axe. The mall is the true path to righteousness. Oh baby, how could I? You're not just a weapon. You're a part of me, an extension of my will. I promise my love that as long as I draw breath, I'll never let you go. You and I, we're in this together forever. You go! You have to have a very high IQ to master the mall. The technique is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the swings will go over the enemy's head. The veterans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of this weapon. As a consequence, people who dislike the mall truly are idiots. Of course, they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the technique in the mall's existential sound crunch. I'm smirking right now, just imagining one of those simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as the mall boy's genius wit unfolds itself on their face. What fools, how I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a mall tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only, and even then they have to demonstrate that they're within five IQ points of my own, preferably lower. Nothing personal, kid. Despite getting plat 4, I think I'll never touch this mode again. Especially after getting some Wessex motherfuckers. As I crunched my foes, I pondered the conundrum. Are we not all just fools bashing each other in this virtual arena of madness? Is victory truly a reflection of skill, or is it merely a testament to who had more time to waste perfecting their fainting technique? Sartre's famous quote, Hell is other people has never rung more true than in this ranked mode, where your soul is battered by the whims of virtual combatants whose sanity teeters on the edge of oblivion. The absurdity continues as you engage in a battle royale of philosophies. Stoicism is crushed beneath the weight of raging chat trolls who, like modern-day nihilists, declare the pointlessness of it all. Why do you even try? they cry, drowning any flicker of hope you may have in a sea of cynicism. The ranks themselves, arbitrary titles bestowed upon you, are a testament to the absurdity of our digital existence. 
They serve as ironic reminders of our insatiable desire to achieve meaningless accolades in a virtual world, as if they will somehow fill the emptiness in our actual lives. In the end, the ranked game mode in Mordhau is not just a mode for digital combat, but a profound meditation on the human condition. It forces us to confront our desire for meaning, our inherent absurdity, and the futility of our quest for glory in a world that ultimately exists within the confines of our computer screens. As you plunge into the maelstrom of ranked play, remember this, the true ranking is not in the game, but in your heart, where you have already achieved the highest level of absurdity. Click subscribe? No?